All right, YouTube, we're gonna try this again. Um, John from B-Town here ran out of memory card on my phone because I took too long to explain things. So I'm gonna try to keep this one shorter and simple this time. We are here at Saluda Hill Cemetery, just across from Blakely Confederate Memorial Battlefield near Spanish Fort, Alabama, not too far from my house. And uh, this cemetery held a significant position during the battle. It became no man's land for at least a day or two before the Union Army shifted through here to across the highway down there to attack the main fort at, Bla at Blakely, which uh, I will show you in another video later when I go into that, that part. But uh, all the mediums and Tom, you told me to take you to some ghosts while I'm trying to set you free to some now. And a lot of old history here. This is a Revolutionary War veteran who died in 1832 and is inscribed. He joined General Marion in an eventful struggle, which was the war for our independence. Need to get him some new flags. Those are kind of faded out. Some of these stones are newer, but they're actually, they were brought in because the original ones were destroyed by robbers and looters back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. This wall encases the entire Wilkins family and some of the Thompson family who would have settled at the town across the highway known as Blakely. Yellow fever wiped them all out. Any other small common disease you can think of they didn't have a cure for back then was just devastating. Back here is where uh, me, Sarah, and Brad were standing right here in this little clearing when she had claimed to see the woman in white. I know for a long time, and I still joke with her about it, I, I tell her it was my friend, George, who had come along with us uh, because he walks really quietly like a ghost. I mean, he's just silent and he's freaky. But the stories I've been hearing lately, it adds up, the woman in white that she saw her walking right across there in a rather fast motion. Sarah tripped out. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, the woman in white, however, is another story. A girl that walks down the side of this very highway down here. She uh, apparently ask for a ride you give her the ride and then she takes you to this house and you drop her off the house is abandoned and run down nobody lives there she gets out of the car and then you try to persuade her to get back in because you know obviously you don't want to leave her stranded in a place like that and she doesn't oblige she just keeps walking keeps walking and then she vanishes a couple of people that we have talked to have had this happen to them where they picked her up because it was raining. It usually happens on a rainy night. Sometimes she ends up in here. But this, got this wrought iron enclosure here, rather unkept. I know there's graves in there, but you just can't, can't see them or tell where they were or where they're at. Not a single stone left. Back down here is the uh, path that goes to the new military cemetery where all of our uh, Afghanistan and Iraqi and other veterans or of other wars are being buried now and 
that was really nice to have them put that in right here across from the battlefield you know it all fits really well this cemetery was established in 1824 just as yellow fever had set in with the town of Blakely which completely diminished the whole entire town by the time the Civil War broke out in 1861 1865 rolls around the Union Army attacks Blakely right here across the road I'm probably a half a mile away from the Union lines right now they come through here to get there too the uh Union Army attacks the Confederate works over at Blakely. 10,000 men versus five to 6,000 Confederates that are mostly veterans from earlier battles in the war. Some of them even missing legs and arms, which is amazing. Just propped them up on the breastworks, gave them a rifle, told them to shoot. Yeah, this is the uh, new gravestone they had put up for the Hurley family here. The originals were probably destroyed. Wilkins family wall I showed you earlier. I mean, there's just a lot of unmarked graves out here. It's a beautiful area though. I forget which one of these trees, one of these here, that the figure was peering out of us in a picture that we had taken. If you go back and watch the Saluda Hill investigation video, you'll, you'll see it. I don't know if this is Confederate dead or townsfolk. Miss Mary Rice's grave. She's caretaker of Blakely for a long time, treated all those reenactors, including us, right? Now they got somebody in there that doesn't take care of anything, and I'm disappointed about that, actually. I keep hearing footsteps behind me that are not mine. I don't know if it's nature or paranormal. take you guys down closer to the front gate on the way out here let you guys see the sign if the video cuts out I'm sorry I've got to make more space on my phone to do this kind of stuff nice fence row covered You guys got that if not you can pause it and read it later anyway this is just uh part one of the revisited series of the places we've ghost hunted give, let you know what they look like during the daytime all y'all take care and stay spooky b-town out